Hi dear friends, I would like to present to you my latest build. In fact, it's not entirely my build, but I have a, a lot of contribution to this project. It's a full wave high voltage multiplier. Uh, this one is the capacitor and diode boards. It has eight stages eight capacitors on each arm and another row of capacitors beneath. They are rated 30 kilovolt, one nanofarad. You can see inside the high voltage diodes there are two CL, two FM diodes. Uh, this is uh, 20 kilovolt, 100 milliamp diodes and uh, the blue uh, things are resistors they serve to equalize and uh, discharge equalize voltage and discharge the capacitors after turning off at the end of the board we can see some current limiting resistors uh, there are 10 of them in series uh, with a total resistance of about 24 kilo ohms. Now, I didn't put them uh, in the circuit, in the final discharge circuit, because <clears throat> I don't want to, the charge to accumulate in the capacitors and to cause some internal damage to the board. I have uh, built a custom transformer. This is a 20 kilo volt transformer with a middle tap uh, on the secondary winding it has uh, a ferrite core it's powered by a ZVS driver <clears throat> it is a Chinese cheap eBay model but I have modified it uh, changing the capacitor with a bigger one which can handle better the, the higher currents it has now a fan on top which helps cool it better this is just uh, an experimental model it's not the final model so I have uh, wired the transformer to the board I have connected it uh, in the final version <coughs> this board will be put inside a PVC pipe in oil in order to work at full voltage now I'm uh, just testing it in air with a, a low voltage input not to, in order not to damage it from internal arching so I've set the spark gap at just two centimeters apart so now I'll turn the power on and uh, we'll see how it works it's very noisy so I don't expect to hear anything else to take care of the ears Well, that's all for now. You can see the input voltage for the ZVS driver is uh, about 12.8 volts, so it's the minimum. minimum. But uh, this one can go up to 40 volts without damaging the, the driver board. So that's all for now. I will upload the final version as soon as the build uh, is uh, finished. Thanks for watching!